the official Arch Linux is now available for Windows. There has been a unofficial version of Arch Linux available called Winch WSL, which has like good rating 4.7. If you compare this with something like Ubuntu or any other Linux distribution, it has the highest rating. I guess people just love Arch Linux, whether it's like the distribution as a whole operating system or a WSL distribution. They just love Arch. Now you can use it officially on Windows through WSL and you can say I use Arch by the way or for whatever reason you want to use Arch, you got it. The official one. Okay. Sadly, uh, this is not available on Microsoft Store. So you'll have to download it through the command line. So we're going to have to launch the terminal. You can use the command prompt or PowerShell. Uh, use this command WSL list online. This will list all the official Linux distributions supported by WSL. So you can see there are a couple of them. Ubuntu, uh, it's the default distribution for WSL actually. Debian and here is the Arch Linux. I want to see how this is different compared to Ubuntu. I mean, if you're into Linux, you know, a couple of differences already, like it has the different package manager, it has user repository and all that. Maybe that's the reason why people love Arch Linux. So let's install it actually. So to install it, we can do WSL and dash dash install dash D and what is the name Arch Linux, just like that. We can do that and hit enter and it's gonna start downloading the Arch Linux just like that. Let's launch it now, WSL. Oh, we have to do .txe or it will get installed as a program so we can use this too. So no need to play with the uh, uh, terminal. Terminal is scary. I just prefer the GUI most of the time. <laughs> it didn't ask me to create a username and password. This is a bit scary. <laughs> if I go into Ubuntu, open it here you can see i have the username here uh now i have to do some google here you know what we don't have to create a user account we can just use the root directly let's just say i couldn't add the user so we're gonna just use the root yeah <laughs> okay so when we are in root we don't have to use the sudo okay so now let's install something called screen fetch because i want to get some info like what kernel it's using and is it using the nvidia gpu or not so let's find out uh, let's run it oh, will it work the question is yes it works and guess what it's also using the nvidia gpu that means cool but unlike like the true nature of the actual arch linux distribution which uses the latest and greatest linux kernel uh, in Windows through WSL, it can't because it has to use the uh, Microsoft's WSL2 custom kernel, okay, which is 5.15 something. Maybe if you want to, you can use the custom kernel. If you go and change the WSL settings, go into the developer option, custom kernel. Yeah, that's it. Maybe I have never tried this. Okay, so now let's actually install the CUDA drivers for Arch Linux so we can use you know GPU intensive applications like virtual machine or something so here we're gonna do pacman uh, no <laughs> pacman s CUDA that's it and here is everything this is going to download and I can already see one problem here actually with this this still remains one of the most difficult Linux distribution to use let me show you guys why. Let's say I have this Ubuntu thingy installed. If I do the screen fetch here, you can see it has the resolution. It shows the resolution and it also shows the window manager. Yeah, if I go back to Arch Linux here, it doesn't show any resolution. Maybe because the X server or Wayland something is not installed in here. I don't know if anything is going to work as an application since we don't have the window manager plus uh, uh, the resolution thingy here. 
so i'm kind of worried about that so basically we have to manually configure or add them to the arch linux even in wsl it still kind of remains do it yourself distro okay it's it's keeping up with its original nature <laughs> yes by default ubuntu basically comes with everything you need okay it looks like cuda thingy is installed now let's try some applications the gui i don't know if that's going to work because again we don't have the window manager and the screen resolution or x server or wayland thingy installed or configured here i'm used to using the apt so much so i'm like kind of new to the pacman thingy <laughs> So let's try this word manager. And I think it's gonna take some time. Okay, let's try to run it. Hmm. Uh, cannot open display zero. Yeah, obviously I knew it. So by default, it doesn't have any window manager and resolution. So that's the reason why we can't use the GUI. I'm pretty sure there is a way to configure and install these things. So the simplest and easiest way, I think, is just install a desktop environment. So let's install maybe uh, GNOME. Maybe we can go with anything that we want, but since GNOME is like really popular, so we're gonna go with that actually. Uh, no, okay. We don't have to put the sudo in here because we are in root. Hopefully this will fix the window manager and uh, the resolution and then maybe we can use the gui applications so here in ubuntu you can see it has the resolution and it has this window manager called western and this is the thing which lets us use linux applications on windows so now let's try to do the word manager nope <laughs> it's i still need to manually configure this because yeah okay or maybe i have to can i install just western wm oh it's a wayland compositor actually oh so it uses wayland by default the ubuntu thingy can we install this oh maybe we can we can we can let me try this oh yeah okay so if we try to run word manager uh <laughs> okay it, it didn't work just to show you guys i'm gonna install the vlc here the linux one okay now let's run it uh it should yeah look at that so this is what i mean okay this is what we are missing in Arch Linux. I can still kind of say I use Arch by the way, but it's still the difficult distro to use because of the window manager missing here. Like if you want to use terminal and all that, I mean, if you use Arch Linux, this is no big deal. Maybe you can just easily fix it. But for new users, yeah, it's still like kind of difficult distro to use. Before we end this video, I'm going to try one more attempt to add a user here. So, okay. Let's set the password. Provided username is not a valid name. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I, I'm, I give up. Okay, I give up. I was hoping that by default, the Arch Linux on WSL will work just like the other distributions. But Arch Linux, nah, <laughs> you, you have to configure it. Let's just say I'm not qualified for using Arch Linux on WSL. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.